morning. Thank you. How are your feet? They're aching. <laughs> but they'll be alright. They'll, they'll manage. Okay. We don't want to leave it too late today. I know. Because we've still got, we've only got 12k, but if we want to walk to the actual edge of the earth, the lighthouse bit. Yeah. That's another three and then a three back. Three and a half and three and a half The kids coming for that one. Well, I thought what we could do is we could check in at the hotel, walk to Fistera, yeah. check in at the hotel, and then if the kids want to, they can just stay in the hotel. And Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi it if they don't want to walk to the lighthouse while we walk to the lighthouse. Okay. Good idea. I feel like if we're walking all this way, I, my feet are going to complain, but yeah. if we're walking all this way, it would be silly not to walk right to the edge. Yeah. Shall we... Um go find the laundrette which is just down there somewhere yeah see if it's open yeah because it says it opens at 10 and then um, grab some coffee and some breakfast yeah and then if it's back. yeah and then if it's not open we just bring the coffee and breakfast back and wait till 10 yeah. and then go and take stuff to the laundrette and then head out as soon as we've done that because you only take half an hour into the laundrette yeah it's fine right, it's quite dry I'll get in the shower okay so I get all the glamorous jobs I am taking the drying to the laundrette. I'll be quite honest with you though, I quite like the laundrette. I like going, sitting there and watching it go. <laughs> Better than man. There you go. Okay, so off we go to the laundrette. It's literally less than a minute's walk. Hey. Okay, perfect. Cafe con leche. Okay, cafe con leche. Breakfast. Oh, we got a blister. Plan for today is to walk to Finisterra. Which is how long way? 12 kilometers. And it's all flat, yeah? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to go up. Uh, a hill yeah. and down a hill and then as you two hills they're not big hills though not as big as the hills that we've walked down but first coffee so we are here in C and we're going to walk the orange route today 12.1k all the way to finish there just there and then the children might join us today, they might not, but then me and Louise will do the extra 3k out towards the lighthouse to the end of the earth. And then walk 3k back where we will have a pasta dinner and wine, me hopes.
Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Day four. Yeah. It's taking us a little while to record this bit because it's been really noisy down there, isn't it? Yeah. But we're off the top now. So we've got 12 kilometers to go today to Finisterre town itself. Yeah. And then me and Louise, all be a while, are going to walk the extra 3.5. Yeah, to Carbo Finisterre. Carbo Finisterre. While the kids, I think, put their feet up in the hotel room with some yeah. Wi-Fi. Unless they decide that they want to come with us. Yeah. The choice is theirs. Yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards, shall we? Onwards and upwards. Oh, wow. This is a lovely tractor. It's the uh, Bererios. Don't often see these out this far in east, but it comes in red with the uh, with the nice open engine mounting. Um, I notice it's the uh, A23 motor type there. Nice. He knows absolutely nothing about tractors. I'm just saying. He's faking it. He just reads it. He knows nothing about tractors. Where are we, man? This is Estorda. Hola. What would you say to people that were walking from Santiago to Finisterre? The different feel, the different vibe. It's quieter. Really quiet, isn't it? Yeah, really quiet. Really, really quiet. We've not seen many people at all today. No. How many have we pilgrims seen? Two have just passed us. Two, maybe four, five. Not any at all today. Five or six, yeah. Well, it might be the time of day we're walking. Yeah, quite late today. Um, so yeah, it's quieter. The views are gorgeous. Yeah. You know, it's like of all of the whole walk, it's the first time we've walked along the coast. Yeah. So. Yeah, Unless you've lovely. done the Norte, I suppose. Oh, I suppose if you've done the Norte, then you'll be like, eh, coast. But yeah, it's really nice. It's completely different. Expect a different vibe if you're carrying on from, from Santiago to Finisterre. Um, a lot more contemplation time. Yeah. Oh, wow. What do you think of it, Lou? Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That's why people come to Finisterre, isn't it, Louise? Oh. It's for that. Somebody was already in, so there was a do not disturb sign on the front, and we locked on the door and walked in, and there was loads of stuff everywhere. However, that's fine because look what we got. We have got this massive apartment that's got a kitchen, a living room with a telly, washing machine apparently. Louise loves a good washing machine, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five. 
six rooms. And then like a ladies and a gents toilet, so it's like a massive apartment. Anyway, I think the rest of them all closed up. So I think it's just us tonight because he didn't give us any keys to the other rooms. So we'll go out like that. Okay. Well, Henry just made some really good noises when he tried them, so. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so for a second part of our dinner, it's actually gone because Louise ate it all. <laughs> what do we have, Lou? Oh, wow. It was a little bit unfair. We had zorza, which was um, like minced pork with cheese and paprika sauce. It tastes mm. a bit too chorizo y, which oh. is really nice. Two bowls of that with like little um, crispy type things on top. Yeah. And then we've had pork ribs as well, which Mark and Henry have eaten collectively, and I've had one or two, and Megan had none, um, which is really nice. Very nice. It's amazing. So, after successfully arriving at Finisterre, having lovely pork ribs, and some other food. Sauza. Sauza. And some coquettes. Lovely, very nice and also having two cheeky little beers, we thought it was a good idea to go and walk to the lighthouse <laughs> <laughs> and leave the kids behind in the hotel. So for anybody, don't panic, they're perfectly safe. Um, so we've left in the hotel, it's gonna take about two hours to walk there. We've got the, um, the drone with us, so hopefully we can get some good footage. Yeah. Um, so about an hour there, an hour back. Finisterre. More than just Finisterre. The end of the earth. The end of the earth. So after starting in St. John Pied de Port, we have now walked the entire width of Spain. From east to west. Amazing, really. Well done, us. Yeah. I tell you what, this is the nicer end as well, for me anyway. You know. Yeah. Totally appreciate that Santiago is. But this feels more fulfilling. I'm glad we've done it. Mm. How about you? Oh, most definitely. Yep. Get your camera out, me fellow. No, no, no. We've made it to the end of the earth. Look at that. Stunning. So we've walked from all the way there with my little finger by Pamplona to there. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So you'll have seen we've just walked to the end of the earth, Finisterra, Cabo Finisterra. It's about three and a half kilometers each way. What's it taking us? About two hours? Yep, two hours to get up there, do a bit of filming, come back down again. And I think we're done. My feet hurt. Yeah, my feet hurt. So we're going to go get some snacks, mm. take them back to the kids in the hotel room, yep. and chill out, I think. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, it's been a beautiful day and I'm thoroughly done in. Yeah, so we've got a bus ride tomorrow from Finisterre to Santiago. It's going to take about three hours to get there. Boo! Uh, <laughs> but it's dirt cheap. Yeah. Um, and then um, we've just got the afternoon in Santiago, so we're going to relax with the kids, catch up with them. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a very early flight on um, Wednesday morning, which is the day after tomorrow. Um, back to so London. Back to London. So um, we're not going to do much filming tomorrow, so this will be the end of our vlog for this one. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, if you have. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> here or here. And we'll see you next week with something else. Yeah.
Right, if you had to, two choices as a occupation, yep. would you do... Would I you think be, I'd make a really good vicar. Would you do a year on the what? oil rig? Okay. Or a year as Mickey Mouse in Disneyland Orlando? Oh no, I do oil yeah. rig. Why? Because oh, have you seen how many times oh. um, he gets beaten up? Yeah. Uh, I'd still be Mickey Mouse. 